Samsung Galaxy S22. Best budget phone $799. A solid step forward. Overlook the Samsung Galaxy S22 at your peril. It's true that the entry-level phone in Samsung's flagship lineup for this year lacks the premium features of the Galaxy S22 Ultra and the larger screen of the Galaxy S22 Plus, but there's a danger in focusing too much on what the S22 doesn't have. A better way to think about the Galaxy S22 is to consider the value it delivers. Opt for this model, and you'll get the same Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 chipset that powers Samsung's flashier S22 options. You can also expect a bright display and the same impressive camera setup as the S22 Plus. And all this comes in package that starts at less than $800, $200 cheaper than the next model in Samsung's lineup. The Galaxy S22 won't be the model of choice for everyone, especially those who want every premium feature packed into a phone. But our Samsung Galaxy S22 review finds a phone with enough high-end features to impress as one of the best Samsung phones, especially at this price. If you've been holding out on updating your phone in part because of the rising cost of flagship devices, the Galaxy S22 will remind you that you don't have to part with big bucks to get a premium handset. Samsung Galaxy S22 review, price and availability. The Galaxy S22 has been on sale since the end of February. You'll find it at every major wireless carriers, as well as a few MVNOs like Google Fi, Xfinity Mobile and Visible. Retailers such as Amazon and Best Buy sell the phone, too, and you can buy it directly at Samsung.com, where the Galaxy S22 is available in four Samsung-exclusive colors. Samsung Galaxy S22 Review Design after experimenting with a polycarbonate back for the Galaxy S21, the Galaxy S22 sports an upgrade in materials, with an aluminum band around the middle and a glass back that's made out of Gorilla Glass Victus Plus. That should bolster durability, though dropping glass of any kind onto hard surfaces can lead to disastrous consequences, we'd recommend getting one of the best Galaxy S22 cases to protect your new phone. At least the new materials make the Galaxy S22 feel like a more sophisticated phone than the plastic Galaxy S21 FE, available for $100 less. Samsung Galaxy S22 Review Display Samsung looked to improve display brightness across the board on the Galaxy S22 lineup. And while the Galaxy S22 Plus and S22 Ultra get the better end of the deal with a peak brightness of 1,750 nits, the S22's 1,300 nit peak brightness is nothing to sneeze at. In SDR, we used a light meter to measure peak brightness at 672 nits, though with HDR turned on, that reading reached 1,152 nits. To put those numbers in context, the iPhone 13 hit 795 nits of brightness when we tested that display. Samsung Galaxy S22 Review Cameras The Galaxy S22 features the same basic camera setup that Samsung used for the Galaxy S21, but with some notable improvements to the hardware. The main camera now has a 50MP rating instead of the 12MP wide-angle shooter used in last year's phone. The sensor is 23% larger, too, to let in more light, as Samsung makes a push to improve camera performance in low light. Samsung Galaxy S22 Review Performance Because I'm testing the Galaxy S22 in the US, my version of Samsung's phone is powered by the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1, the same chipset found in other S22 models. In other parts of the world, Samsung uses its own Exynos 2200 chipset, though our Galaxy S22 Plus benchmarks indicate similar performance regardless of the silicon. Samsung Galaxy S22 Review – Battery Life and Charging The size of the screen isn't the only thing to shrink from the Galaxy S21 to the Galaxy S22. There's also a smaller battery in this year's model, a 3,700 mAh power pack instead of a 4,000 mAh one. Perhaps Samsung was hoping that a more efficient chipset and another year of an adaptive display would improve battery life on the Galaxy S22. If so, it was a big miscalculation. Samsung Galaxy S22 Review, Software and Special Features 
The Galaxy S22 debuts with Samsung's One UI 4.1 interface for Android 12. If you like previous iterations of Samsung's One UI, this edition will suit you just fine, particularly as Samsung has added customization and privacy features. You can see which apps are requesting permissions, and managing those permissions is a bit more streamlined. With the Galaxy S22 series, Samsung and Google are bringing a live sharing feature to Google Duo that lets you view photos and take notes with the people on a video call, kind of like what Apple added via iOS 15's SharePlay feature.